Hi everyone, welcome to episode 75, 76, 76, ooh, of Happy Healthy Meals with Risa Auger. Today we are going to be talking about fighting those sugar cravings. Oh my goodness, you guys, I last week had just like the sugar cravings were real, and they were there. Um, so that's why this week in the Facebook group, I am sharing some healthy options for sugars, for sugary sweet treats that don't have a ton of sugar in them or get the sugar from natural places. Um, and then in the email that is going to go out um, this week, uh, if you are on my email list, you will get some info about how much sugar is in things, why we choose to have sugar from natural sources instead of man-made choices, um, and just uh, a deep dive there with some articles linked. I don't normally do that, but I feel like this is one of those topics that you need to read a few things. So I am adding some bonus links to the email instead of a recipe. I know that's strange, but I'm just going to try it. So I hope that you guys find that very, very useful and uh, you can curl up with a cup of tea, no sugar added, and uh, read a little bit about that, get some more info. And then if you still have questions, I am so happy to answer more questions. Um, but I know that I see so many people baking right now and that COVID-15 is um, really rampant everywhere. And I don't want you guys to fall into that because sugar just wrecks havoc on your entire body, including your immune system. And that is something we just don't want to mess with right now. Um, there's just so much going on and your health is based on your gut health and um, your gut does not like sugar, I hate to tell you. So when you do consume sugar, we try to stick with natural sources, meaning fruit, veggies, um, yeah, fruit, veggies, like sweet veggies, uh, like I love beets, oh my gosh, do I love beets. And when you roast them, they're so sweet, it's almost like fruit. Um, even dairy has sugar in it, so it can be really sweet, but your body reacts differently to it because, um, well, there's a lot of reasons. And it's in the email, and I'm not going to go into it because I want to talk to you guys about um, fighting, well, two things. One is why we eat sugar, like why we just crave it, like why sometimes you just cannot shake it off, right? And, um, and then also a couple ways to fight those sugar cravings. Um, that goes beyond just the normal and I'm hoping that these are not normal and I'm hoping these help you with some insight about learning about yourself and um, and some things that you can do how I treat my sugar cravings I'm gonna tell you about that too and um, yeah heck I'm, I'm getting comments about sugar cravings in the evening oh yeah that's I'm gonna tell you about my dessert that I have every single night um, because it helps me curb my cravings um, and it helps me really limit the amount of sugar that I have in my regular meals, right? So um, one reason that we crave sugar is just emotional. Like you could just be on an emotional roller coaster. And right now we are all on emotional roller coaster. So let me tell you, um, my days are crazy. I start on this high, I'm going to get everything done. And then you have to relearn third grade math and your day goes to crap or you... Last Friday, I lost a client and I was really upset and oh boy, did I want sugar. Oh man. And I, I didn't give in, but oh, it was like, it just took hold of me. So sometimes it's that. Then it's emotional combined with stress and sometimes that's celebratory too. Like it's a good one. Like I'm so excited. I want an entire cake to celebrate, blah, 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 blah. Right? You can have those too. And that's great every once in a while because you guys, sugar is not bad in small quantities. It's just bad when we have it all the time in mass quantities. Um, so, oh, also in the email, I give you some guidelines about how much you're supposed to have and what the average person has a day. Oh my gosh, it's insane. Um, and I don't want, I, yeah. Um, so sometimes it's unconscious, right? Like you're just going about your day and you nibble on this and you nibble on that and you grab that packaged item or you have a couple extra bites of this and a couple extra bites of that. Um, or like me on Sunday, I made pancakes and um, I was like, well, I'll just have a little bit of syrup on this. And it was 
totally with it, you know, it was less than a serving. It was just a drizzle, just enough to get that sweet bang, right? And it's Sunday, that's my day to have sugar if I feel like having sugar. And um, oh, it just like poured out and it like rushed out. I had to put some back in the bottle. I was like, oh my goodness. So anyway, when that happens, if you didn't clean it back up, if you didn't put it back in the bottle, whatever, like sometimes things happen, right? Oh, you're gonna try all the flavors of the cupcakes instead of like two or three flavors of the cupcakes. I mean, there's all these things, right? Things happen, there's nibbles, nibbles, nibbles. Um, it happens to me when I am, like say making my kids peanut butter and jelly, I'll just lick that knife and I'm like, oh, well there's some jelly and I wasn't planning on having that today, but you know, all those little nibbles, they just, they add up. So um, the other thing is that sometimes we wanna reward ourselves. Guys, we are not dogs, we are not animals, we are humans and we are at the top of the food chain. We do not need to reward ourselves with sweets. Um, they're great for celebrations, but not as rewards. Like. Just because you went and ran a mile doesn't mean that you get to have three Snickers. Um, and I'm talking full-size Snickers. Um, just because it is, you know, the end of a giant project or the end of one of your quote-unquote cleanse weeks, that is not the time to go have a giant slice of chocolate cake at your favorite spot, right? Your favorite diner. Um, you want to reward yourself with things that are going to help you to get to that next level, that are going to help you change and be even more awesome for the next thing that you're going to hurdle. So maybe um, if you nail those push-ups on your toes and um, you do your whole set of 15 or whatever your goal is, you reward yourself with a new tank top or um, fresh a uh, new pair of headphones or something. You know, like it doesn't have to be a treat and I encourage you to not reward yourself with food. And that I will get off my soapbox. So those are four big reasons that we do, that we have, that we want sugar, um, that come up in everyday life, that come up in what we're doing. And I'm gonna share with you four ways to sort of fight those sugar cravings. The first one is the biggest one and it helps you go through so many cravings. Um, sugar, carbs, whatever, and that is staying hydrated. Okay, when you are drinking enough water every day, and you guys, that is at least half an ounce per pound that you weigh, that will help your body just keep functioning and it's gonna flush other things out and it's gonna give way for the good stuff to take over and be in charge. We want the good stuff to be in charge. Okay, second thing, this is weird, uh, magnesium. Magnesium rich foods. So um, all those greens and all those veggies, lots of magnesium. I think quinoa has a lot of magnesium in it. Um, I can, if you ask me, I will Google it and I can post a list if you guys really wanna know, um, but you can Google it too. And uh, just look for those magnesium rich, rich foods. For some reason, that is one really essential nutrient that helps you fight sugar cravings. Crazy, right? Um, other thing, a healthy fat. So if you really, really want sugar, try a spoonful of guacamole or um, a little olive oil or something, just like, not like a spoonful of olive oil, you guys, but like um, put something near you that has that healthy fat that is the rich thing, maybe like half a piece of bacon instead of that giant Snickers, okay? That's at least gonna be healthy fat, it's gonna be a tiny bit salty, and it's going to offer you a tiny bit of protein. So those things combined, yes, I'm telling you, snack on bacon. Um, but you know what I mean? Like those things, when you put healthy fats into your diet, when you have the magnesium in your diet, when you're drinking enough water, your sugar cravings are going to naturally go away or be lowered, right? Mine are so much less than they used to be. It's like, I was like a sugar fiend. Um, other thing is just distract yourself. Sometimes cravings are just for the moment and you can easily just take a walk, have a dance party, shake it off go into a different room, try changing the activity that you're doing. Um, and then again, do the water thing and then have a dance party and see if that works. And then if you are still craving that sugar, have two small chocolate chips or something like that. And that'll just get that craving, it'll smash it and you can just move on with your day, right? So those things work too. Um, a little bit about how, like if you guys wanna know, seriously, one of my favorite snacks, I will tell you about this and I tell you about another one in my uh, in my, the email um 
in the email I talk about Starburst and Dr. Pepper. Uh, the other thing that we used to do is, uh, okay, I used to have multiple Dr. Peppers a day, first of all. And then second of all, I used to put M&Ms in my Dr. Pepper, like literally drop them in and then you eat them at the end and they're still hard and crunchy. I don't know why we did that, but it was fun and it was delicious. Um, when I was pregnant, <laughs> when I was pregnant, I used to always have ice cream, like sugary, gross ice cream in the fridge. Um, and I would not only have that for dessert, I would also get small french fries from McDonald's, the worst french fries that you can order ever, um, and a frosty, like a, the kid's frosty. I was like, oh, it's small. Come home, make dinner, have dessert, and then crash. And I was like, <laughs> when I think back on it, there's a reason that I gained 40 pounds when I was pregnant. Part of it was baby, but not a lot. She was real tiny. Okay, so um, don't be me. Don't be me. Um, some of the things that I did when I started cleaning up my diet um, was, or my meal plan, I should say, was eating more veggies, drinking more water. Um, I also, the um, shakes that I have every day, I know you guys have seen pictures, um, those have just a teeny bit of low processed stevia. And um, that seriously wipes out my cravings for sugar like lowers it by like 90%. It's crazy town. Um, I was not expecting that when I started drinking them, but it is one really, really big, um, better digestion and less sugar cravings. Those are like the two things that I just, I absolutely love about it. Uh, so if you ever want to try them, I'm here for you. I will let you, I'll give you a link to try all the flavors. Not, not expensive at all. Promise. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Four reasons that we actually crave sugar, four ways to um, fight it when those sugar cravings come on. And then um, I did wanna also share with you my meal plan for the week, which I'm going to post in the um, Facebook group. It's gonna go up tomorrow morning. So um, keep an eye out for that. And um, one of the things I wanted to share with you today about my meal plan is that tonight I'm gonna be making veggie meatballs and they are made with flaxseed meal. I'm looking at the recipe right now, which I posted a couple of them, a couple options last week too. Um, but anyway, it has flaxseed, it has lentils, which is where all the protein is going to come from, uh, a little bit of breadcrumbs, and then it has um, spinach in it, which I'm really interested to see how this is going to work. But then you just serve it with some marinara sauce. Make sure you're looking at the uh, sugar content when you're buying things like marinara sauce, because sometimes that's a sneaky place where it goes. Um, and I'm gonna serve it over that green pasta that I had bought. I have the rest of the package left. I'm super excited about it. Um, so that's gonna be pretty yummy there. Um, it is meatless Monday, so I at least like to have one meatless meal on Mondays. Um, I did have leftover chicken today, <laughs> just cause it was there and my fridge is full. I'm like, gotta get rid of all the leftovers, right? Um, but I have meatless meals a couple times a week, three or four times a week. Uh, to just get some different proteins, different veggies in my um, meal plan. It really, really helps. Okay, so other things on my meal plan this week that I, um, and these are included in the post that will go up so that you don't have to write them down right now, but if you're not in the Facebook group, you might want to write them down um, or join the Facebook group, uh, facebook.com slash groups slash happy healthy meals with Risa Auger. Uh, or no, sorry, just happy healthy meals, not with Risa Auger. Um, okay, so on Tuesday, I'm going to try making enchiladas with um, zucchini instead of tortillas. So we'll see how that goes. Wish me luck. Um, and on Wednesday, we're going to have pork chops. Well, it's pork loin because the grocery store was out of pork chops. Um, and I'm going to serve those over some warmed Brussels that I'm going to throw in the air fryer. Oh, they come out crispy. And then the pork, chop, or the pork loin goes on top. It'll be amazing. And then I'm going to make goat cheese um, sweet potato rounds. So you coin them and you keep them pretty thick and you um, bake them on one side, flip them over, um, and then you put a dollop of um, goat cheese and a little bit of like Italian seasoning and it kind of all melds out together. And so it's like little individual pieces of nachos, but not, and like really good because it has the goat cheese on it. So I'm excited about that. And so you want to pick a leaner cut of meat because you're having that extra fat in the cheese and that balances it all out so that you're not like overwhelmed with richness. Um, 
The next night we're gonna have a broccoli slaw with some grilled sandwiches because Tuesday and Wednesday are gonna be really labor intensive and I'm gonna want something super easy on Thursday. And then um, the next night we are going to have meatloaf with green beans and cornbread. Um, and the reason I'm doing the cornbread is because on Monday we're gonna have um, some chili, some veggie chili, and I'm super excited about that. Um, but I make enough, um, cause I put pumpkin in my cornbread and a, it makes it go a lot further so I can make more muffins. Um, so there's less carbs per muffin, but also I'm hiding that veggie in there and we're getting some pumpkin at a weird time of year. Your body just needs different veggies all the time. Like you just want to throw different veggies at it, um, so that you're getting different nutrients, different vitamins all the time. So that's really good to have there. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know. I will send you recipes, um, but I will be posting photos for sure. So make sure you check back here on Facebook for my photos and uh, thoughts on whatever I try. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and pray for your week. And then that is it, my friends. Thank you so much for being here, for joining, for asking questions. I love questions. I love questions. Um, and I know I did this a little earlier than normal today, but I am hungry and so I wanted to get this done so that I can get to feed my family and um, take a break from work and then get back to work a little bit later because we got distracted with some third grade math today. So mama's a little bit behind on her day. Um, so if you'll join with me and just Thank God for everything that he provides. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for these lovely folks who are here with me tonight. Um, may their dinners be healthy. May they be nourishing. May they be totally delicious and unburned. Um, God, thank you for providing nourishing food. Thank you for keeping us all safe during these uncertain times. And we pray that you continue to bless our lives so that we can honor you and um, honor our bodies with good, nutritious food and beat those sugar cravings. Um, in your name we pray, amen. That is it. Thanks guys. Have a wonderful evening and I will see you soon. I look forward to seeing your comments. Bye. Hi guys. I'm gonna turn the light on here. Um, all right, um, yesterday I went live for episode 76 and I totally forgot to finish it. I had a whole list. I'm gonna take my hair out because it looks weird on camera. Um, it, I, I had a list, I did not finish the list, and now my hair looks even more weird. Okay, we're just gonna do this. Um, so I'm here today, because I mess up all the time. Oh my gosh, you guys, like things, life happens, right? And things get missed, and it's no big deal. Today, I have cleaned my counter and my floor two times because my daughter spilled an entire thing of juice. And then my um, fish tank decided to get a crack in it or something. I don't know. Hold on for a second. Hey, babe, I put the fish tank in the sink. Can you look at it and see if you see a crack? I did not see a crack. Oh, I forgot to finish my live yesterday, so I'm just doing a quick five-minute thing. Quick five minutes. I think he thinks I'm nuts. Um, okay, so the thing that I forgot yesterday was how I deal with my sweet cravings. Um, so I mentioned that I do those superfood shakes and they have just enough sweet and a bunch of protein and, um, so many other good things that they have really, really curbed my sweet cravings. But the other thing that I do is that I save my fruit till one, and I put all my servings of fruit in one and I put it in a yogurt bowl at night. Um, sometimes I put dark chocolate in it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I put cranberries in it, sometimes I don't. And I just put a fruit serving, I put um, yogurt in it, Greek yogurt that is unflavored so there's no extra sugar in it. Um, so all the sugar that I put in it, unless I feel like I need like a spot of honey or for whatever reason, um, is from the fruit. And I do a little bit of nut butter and um, some seeds, and cinnamon and ginger um, you just kind of make it what you want it to be but all the all the fruit is where all the sugar is and it just hits that sweet spot at night um, gives me a little bit of protein to sleep really well and um, fuel my 
workout in the morning because I work out first thing, well, close to first thing, <laughs> and um, and I don't eat until 11 o'clock because I do intermittent fasting. So it just helps fuel me all the way through um, with that burst of pro protein at night, and then it hits that sweet spot so that I am not reaching for Snickers bar or whatever in my daughter's candy stash. So anyway, that's what I forgot to tell you guys about. I hope that helps you. Figure out the thing that works for you. If you need to save your fruit till the afternoon, cool. If you wanna do your fruit in the morning, cool. But get your things on a rotation so that you know when to expect it and so that you are prepared and you have that bit of fruit or berries or whatever um, ready to go. Dark chocolate with no sugar in it also really hits the spot, you guys, because that has magnesium in it, which is part of that sugar craving that I was talking about, right? So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching this extra little bit. I hope it helps you. Let me know if you have any questions and I shall see you next week. Thanks guys.